In this session, we're going to see how a three-sided marketplace works. We're going to do we're going to draw actually from the example of uh, one of the most powerful three-sided uh, marketplaces which is the Uber uh, food delivery uh, side. As you know, like Uber is uh, is um, you know is is known for its mobility app that gives the chance to users to actually get the ride to go anywhere. But the most interesting side as you know we went through the pandemic was the delivery business uh, as Uber leveraged on the same platform the same network effects actually to uh, you know build quickly a network of delivery path partners that could be used to uh, actually build up this new delivery service. So in a three-sided marketplace, as you might imagine, we have three main uh, core players. In this case, you have like uh, the, the users, so people that want food delivered at home. You have the delivery partners, so all those uh, uh, drivers that are also, uh, they also want to make some more money by delivering food uh, at home. And then you have the restaurant partners. And the way it works is uh, quite straightforward. So the user actually uh, places an order through through the platform through the the, the uber uh, food platform and then the, deli the delivery partner is gonna actually pick up that stuff and is gonna deliver it to the user so on the one side you have a user who wants something uh, brought at home and so wants the convenience of uh, that um, you know uh, food delivered at home the delivery partner wants to make some more money by uh, you know performing those gigs and the restaurant partner who wants to improve for instance the reach of its own um, you know of, uh, of delivering uh, food uh, across town and while also amplifying the customer base because let's remember that they can draw from the existing uber uh, platform that has uh, many many millions of uh, actually billions of users but also uh, locally to expand their operations let's remember that it might sound trivial to set up a delivery business uh, if you have a restaurant but in reality while it may be possible to do so at a very local le level so in the exact neighbor where the restaurant is located is a little bit more complicated to ensure that you can do this delivery service at scale on uh, on uh, in the same town especially when the the town becomes a city so that's where the value proposition comes of a platform like uber that offers a very easy setup for a delivery uh, leveraging the existing uber platform to find the delivery partners that know how to you know uh, deliver on time which is uh, which might sound trivial but it's not and with this sort of last mile delivery service that's how uber attracts you know you new restaurant partners to one end it gives option to users to not only uh, find the ride to go from one place to another but also to have food delivered at home and also use the same platform to get uh, delivery partners um, on the from from the existing uh, platform so this is a very interesting case of how network effects uh, can actually can be used uh, in a, in a sort of parallel way to develop like uh, ancillary uh, services uh, on top of an existing platform and in this case of like uh, uber the food side is extremely in interesting because throughout the pandemic this became actually uh, the main business driver of the company